there, my name is Chanel and I'm one of the happiness engineers here at Flocknote and I'm super excited to walk you through our new and improved image feature. You're still going to see the taskbar here and you'll still click on the mountain icon, this framed little portrait. Click on that and the full image feature will load. You'll see where you can upload an image from your mobile device or your computer files. You can select a GIF, basically it's a moving image or you can select the library and that has your recently used images as well as some free to use preloaded content like headers and graphics that Flocknote provides to enhance your notes and make it easy to put together an email quickly. I'm going to select the upload button so that I can select a file from my computer. I'm going to click on that and you'll see it looks great but it's pretty big and I want something cropped in a different way. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure it's selected which it is and then click on this cropping icon in the top right hand corner. Once there, it's going to automatically crop this image, but you can adjust this as you need to. Click on it and then drag as much as you need to make it exactly the crop you want. You can also customize even further by clicking on the corners and then dragging that to anywhere you want. Again, you can drag this whole section down or just the corners. We also have our pre-made crop sizes that you can choose from. Select on this custom sizes button and then you'll see a couple of those there. I'm gonna select banner. I think that frames the Bible nicely, so I'm gonna click OK. And there you go, it's been cropped. But as you can see, it's still rather big. At the bottom right here is the gray button that you can click and then drag up and down as you need to get exactly the size you want. I think that looks nice. But I'd also like to have a second image, so I'll click the mountain icon again, select upload to choose another file from my computer, and I'm going to repeat the process. Click on the cropping button, select banner, get that framed nicely, and then click OK. Again, I go to this little gray button down here and then drag it until it matches up just right with the top one. I think that looks nice. But let's say you don't want the images on top of each other. Maybe you prefer them to be side by side. Just click to open up the toolbar again and then click on the columns button and then you can make different column sizes. I'm going to go with two columns instead of one. I can just click and use this arrows icon to drag and drop exactly where I need to, so they are side by side. I can also link both of these images by clicking on one and then the chain link icon and then entering in my website of choice. Let's do flocknote.com, but you can link it to your official church website, maybe a prayer site. As long as you have a shareable URL, you can link it there. When members click on this image now, it'll take them directly to that website. If you change your mind, maybe perhaps you don't want to use this image anymore. You can select it and then again you have the buttons to upload, choose a GIF, or choose from the library. So you can continue to customize further until you have this note exactly how you want. I hope this is helpful, but of course if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at flocknote.com. Our happiness engineers are always happy to help. Until then, God bless.